beautiful shining gems today we will be creating your very first quest it is going to be a very simple quest and it's going to include just about all the knowledge that um, you have acquired thus far in the series and it's going to include loot spawners and NPC spawners, okay? Alright, let's get started. Alright, guys, we are in Draco's Mushy Editor with the quest loaded up. If you want to follow along and um, have the Mushy Editor with you, in the description below there is a link to a Google Docs folder that has all the mushy editor strings in there uh, in different folders for different missions and stuff. This will be labeled um, your first quest. It goes through all the nodes, it, it uses all the nodes except for the comment node, as and um, it, it discusses the different things that we use as well. All right, and if you're liking the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really does help us out. We are going to go into detail to covering everything that's in here, and um, then we're going to run it, all right? So we start at the origin node, always, always starting at the origin node. We asked the question if um, the players... If the character variable condition is equal to 10, uh, is the rep equal to 10? If not, we're, we're going to do the if not first. If not, do they have the quest get ring? And if they don't have the quest to get ring, they go through this entire thing. Um, the dialogue states, hello, my name is, hello stranger, my name is Draco, what is yours? And you say, my name is and the player name here uh will just pop up to whatever name the person is talking to whatever whatever name draco is talking to would you be willing to help out my clan and then i give you guys three options yes i would be glad to help what do you need excellent i need you to get a silver ring that was stolen by a black hand vermin and then it bounces to another location. We'll get to that in just a sec. What, why should I help? Fair question. Why, why should somebody actually help him? I can reward you greatly. I have crafting skills that would allow you to choose from what I have. All right, what do you need? And I need you to get a silver ring that was stolen. Blah, blah, blah. And then it bounces again. All right. Um, if they choose that doesn't seem to be worth my time, goodbye. Or no, I am very busy. Uh, Draco says, very well. I understand. Maybe next time. And then we're going to have a wait node here. And a action node really quickly here. Um, the wait node, I usually like it between two to three seconds. I try to go for three seconds all the time. Whether that happens is questionable. There we go. And then we're going to close the dialogue. Where's close dialogue? There it is. And then I'm just going to kind of stack these to save room. All right. These two bounce to this dialogue system here. All right where is this person and so what happens is once um the player hits where is this person they get the quest and they're notified that's what this action note is um why is you not highlighting there we go there we go um and a trigger happens a custom quest npc spawns and then it goes through a randomizer node. I am sort of redoing this clickety stuff because I, I just want to make sure it runs the way I want it to run. There we go. And 
Then the randomizer either chooses another NPC to spawn or it spawns at the loot spawner. That's what this quest is and this quest NPC. In the upper right hand corner, there was an earlier video about um, loot spawners and NPC spawners. Go check that out if you haven't already. And then once this is done or being done, uh, Draco says she's on the west side of this lake. Please get my ring back. And then there's a wait note and it closes. Now, um, I did not put the spawner and the loot crate on the other side of the lake for simple, um, quick and easy uh, run through of this quest. But that's where it's going to be eventually one day. <laughs> All right. So that is the false, false condition. If it's um, false rep, which means the rep doesn't equal 10, but they have the quest, they jump to 26 right here. And Draco asks, do you have my ring? You can either answer, yes, I have it right here. I forgot where I, where you said I should go. And then he kind of goes over where you're supposed to go again. She's on the west side of the lake. Please get my ring back. No, not yet. Please hurry back. And these two options here all lead to just waiting for three seconds and closing the dialogue. This one, yes, I have the have it right here. It checks whether or not it has the item. And I didn't do the false statement because I wanted to do it with you guys. So we're going to move this up here and go over this up here really quickly. First, all right, so um, if it's true that they have the item, great, here, thank you, here is something for your effort. And it completes the quest, gives, removes the quest item, which is silver rings, gives experience, gives five gold as funds, gives ten rep, this is important because of the condition note at the beginning, and gives an item all right all kind of all at the same time basically and then it also provides a chat message private to the person so if you hit private it sends them a whisper and then if you say chat if you give it a chat name like quest reward and then list the quest it'll be in their chat box and then it says wait for four seconds and then closes the dialogue now that's basically the end of the conversation whether you, you say yes i have it right here and it ends the conversation basically and gives you all of this all right now if they don't have it we should have another dialogue saying it doesn't look like you have the ring it doesn't look like you have the ring please return when you have it all right and then wait node now this is your very first quest i would actually have a couple of options in a in the actual quest um in a more complicated actual quest type system i would probably have two option nodes here saying Actually, let's just do that because I'm going to need them anyways. Option, option. Uh, option. Uh, I, I am sorry. I will, I will return. And then we're just going to kind of end close the dialogue here I will return action close dialogue I'm sorry I will return with the ring okay all right and then the second option this is kind of of just in case case type system um, and I'm gonna say the option is re respawn respawn um, ring and what this is going to do is i'm going to actually bounce it back over to 
where is it? Um, this this spot, twenty two. Actually, I'm not going to bounce it. Um, I, I'm just going to do basically do a copy paste of this here. All right, just one, two, three, four, five nodes. So for action and a randomizer. Okay, and then we're just gonna go up here. Well, it doesn't have to be four. We just, cause they have the quest at that point. Cause that's what this checks over here. They have the quest. So we only need the three action nodes. Uh, triggers the custom NPC. Okay, so trigger custom quest NPC, like so. The randomizer, and then trigger quest. and trigger quest NPC. All right. It just kind of re-triggers it at, if, if necessary. Uh, respawn ring. Um, instead of hit, saying respawn ring, um, you, you, you can say that kind of as a, 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 a ending kind of mark right here. Um, I couldn't find the ring and that way it'll respawn the ring and it tells them that it's going to respawn the ring. All right. And then we're going to hit, uh, new dialogue. It should be there. It should be there. And then we're going to do a wait node. We'll say two seconds this time because it should be there is pretty pretty short and then of course an action node to close it there we go all right so that's that all right so if it's false for the rep but true for the ring of having the quest then it goes through this entire setup in some form, depending on the options the player chooses. Now, if the rep itself is true, it goes to bounce node 50, land node 50 here. So Draco asks, because all the mission's done now, what can I do for you? I would like to buy one of your bows. I forgot, sorry. So if you forgot, that's okay. We all forget sometimes, see you around. And it ends the conversation there. If you like, like to buy one of his bows, he says, are you sure they cost 10 gold a piece? And I have, and we use the local variable bows, bows left. I, yes, I am sure. Uh, never mind, that's too expensive. Uh, so if it's too expensive, I actually decided to do a operation that says add a bow. Very well, I should see, I shall see you around. There's a D in there, I guess, huh? <laughs> I found it. I found it. I found it. I swear I found it. I'm sure you'll find other mistakes. If you do, please just let me know so that way I can repair them before they're and then get the new mushy string up. <laughs> I found it. Found it this time. I don't know if it's fixed in the other one, in your version at the moment, but I did find it. <laughs> it should be fixed, though. All right. So, if if you say that, I actually give. I I say Draco. Okay, give give yourself another bow. All right, for a local variable. If you say yes, I'm sure. I remove ten funds from your uh, wallet. And I give you a bow. In this case, it's the Night Bow from Age of Calamitous mod. It's a low level, uh, 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 low level um, Elven bow. So it's from the Elven faction. 
All right, and I give you one of them. And then the local variable operation subtracts one from the bows. Here is your here is your bow. I hope you see. I hope to see you next time. And then I wait and uh, close the dialogue. All right. So this is the entire quest line system. And at the end, you can purchase a night bow if you would like and if you have the funds. All right. Now, understand up here, I didn't check to see if they had the funds. I probably should do that um, now that I'm thinking about it. Because uh, if they have the funds, then great. If they don't have the funds, then they can't do anything. Um, so we can do a condition node here really easily. Doink condition has, where is it? Uh, is inventory empty, condition variable, gender, rank, recipe, funds. There we go. Has 10 gold. And then if it's true, we go through this entire, entire thing right here. It, all right. He goes through this entire little thing. It, it's not little. It's kind of actually pretty big. But for your first quest, this isn't too bad, all right? It gives you a little bit of stuff. And if it's false, he says, it doesn't look like you have the money, the funds, to purchase the bow. All right, and we're just gonna uh, just connect it to this wait node here, because you might as well. Make life easy. All right. So we're going to hit control save, control shift quit, hit apply, hit close. All right. So over there, we're good. Um, I'm going to reset my character variables. So give me a sec. Okay. So I have no character variables on me right now. And if you need a video reference for that, it is up in the right hand corner on how to deal with character variables and showing them. And then also in that corner, you'll find your local, global, and um, global, and even more details of the character variables. Okay. Right over there, you can see the two spawners, the two NPC spawners, and the loot box. Okay. That's where everything's going to be. It's not across the river for obvious reasons. All right. So we're going to talk to Draco, get our quest. Hello, stranger. My name is Draco. What is your name? My name's Moonstone. Would you be willing to help out my clan, Moonstone? No, I'm very busy. Very well, I understand. Maybe next time. All right, and then we hit back. Because I'm faster than the mushy, ed the mushy editor. And then we go, my name is Moonstone. Why should I help? Why should I? That doesn't seem to be worth my time. I can greatly reward you. It doesn't seem to be worth my time. Very well, I understand. Maybe next time. All right, and then the last one. Now, if I click this, it'll go through the mission stuff as well. And if I click this one, it'll go through the mission stuff as well. So we'll do this one here. Yes, I would be glad to help. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Um, what do you need? Excellent. I need to get a silver ring that was stolen by the by a black hand vermin. All right. Get ring started. See, it's shown. She is on the west side of the river. You caught that. I did anyways. And if we go over here and we got one spawned in. So that means it's probably in the loot box. And as you can see, she is a custom NPC, so she's definitely not going to have the loot on her. So we go into the box. Aha, there it is. Now, I get this loot spawner configuration because I am in admin at the moment. But normally, this is what you would see. And we got the ring. Let's head out. 
Now remember, it, it either spawns the other quest NPC or it puts it into the loot box. So it could be harder or easier. All right, so we talk to Draco now. Have you retrieved my ring? Not yet. Please hurry back. Okay. I forgot where you said I should go. She is on the west side of the river. Please hurry. Now, I think that... Yeah, so I was... I didn't have it respawn, okay? Because of the choices. Alright. So, have you retrieved my ring? Ah... <sighs> Yes, I have it right here. Now, if I didn't have the ring, it would pop up with those questions of whether or not. And then I got my reward. So I got 10 rep. Pippi funds, 5 was added. I gained experience, but I'm max level, so it doesn't matter. And I gained a ruby pickaxe. So I already have my ruby pickaxe here. So I should have gotten another one here. Yep. And then, of course, I can see, yes, I gained 5 gold. All right. And then let's go into the admin panel real quick. Okay, and as you can see, I gained 10 rep. Now I'm gonna actually add some funds to my player here for just a sec. Okay, we're back. I got 20 gold on me right now, so I can purchase a bow. So we can talk to him. Hello, Moonstone, what can I do for you? I'm sorry, I forgot. That's okay, we all forget sometimes. See you around. And then it closes the dialogue. I would like to buy one of your bows. <sighs> Are you sure they cost 10 gold apiece and I have 5 bows left? Never mind, that's too expensive. Very well, I shall see you around. Now, technically, he should now have 6 bows left, alright? So it's kind of like, oh yeah, he created a bow now. All right, and then we say, yes, I'm sure. Here is your bow. I hope to see you next time. And funds were deducted from my wallet. Voila, 10 funds deducted from my wallet. And we got a night bow. Let's drop that. Let's uh, purchase one more. And then we'll go back and do it one more time to see what he says to us when we don't have the funds. It doesn't look like you have the funds to purchase the bow. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Alright guys, that is your very first quest. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget, stay shiny. And I'll see you guys all next time.